fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of a great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! From the trail of the Black Arrow, Hello, Silver! Hooray! <laughs> The Lone Ranger and Tonto had helped to prevent the mysterious Legion of the Black Arrow from starting a bloody Indian war in the West. When they left Fort Lariat, there was peace again on the frontier. But several days' journey from the fort, as the masked man led the way over a brush-covered ridge. Tonto. Ah, three men. Sound like argument. It's going to be more than an argument, Tonto. Guns will be blazing. Come on. Get him up, Tonto. Up, Silver. Take the man on the right, Tonto. I'll get the other two. Ah. Steady, don't move. Drop those guns. Let go, let go of my arm. Drop your gun and tell your partner to drop his. I'm dropping mine. Let go of my neck. You drop gun too, like others. All right, engine, let me loose. All right, Tonto, stand clear. Get him. Just leave your guns right on the ground, unless you want me to pull trigger. I know, masked man. You're the only one holding guns. My hands are hoisted. Yeah, mine too. Mister, you had no call to horn in. This is a private quarrel, and I can handle it myself. From where we were, I'd say you were biting off more than you could chew. Two against one. I can smoke down a pair of lion coyotes any time. Yeah, you hear that, mister? Fine way for a partner to talk. I know partner of yours, Trench. You and Slagle can go to tarnation as far as I'm concerned. Chandler, if this mask hombre wasn't drawing down on us, you'd eat them words pronto. Yeah, you and who else? Steady, but steady. Me? What's this all about? Yeah, this is private business, mister. You're heading for Brazos, aren't you? Huh? How'd you figure that? The way you've been traveling. Brazos is the only town in that direction. Tot and I are going that way, too. So we just make sure you get there. All in one piece. What are you aiming to do, mask man? Give you a chance to calm down. Tonto. Uh-huh. You ride on ahead of the Slagland Trench. Keep to the Brazos Trail. Uh-huh. Tonto Savvy. You... You get on horse. I'll follow after you with Chandler. Uh, suits me. The more space between me and them skunks, the less I can smell them. And just in case you get ideas, remember, I'll have your shooting irons. You'll get them back in Brazos. The others are pretty far ahead of us, masked man. Most out of sight. I slowed down for a reason, Chandler. I ain't talking. Still don't trust me, huh? Show me what's behind that mask, and I'll show you what's in my mind. <laughs> Chandler... 
You remind me of a Bantam rooster. Always ready to scrap, aren't you? Mister, I got a wife waiting for me in Brazos. I promised this time we'd find gold. Now, I ain't gonna lose on account of a couple of crook partners. I see. So you did find gold. Uh, reckon I shot off my mouth more than I figured. Well, you might as well tell me the rest. Uh, well, you don't talk like an outlaw. I'm not. Well, doggone it, might as well. I gotta talk to somebody or bust. We did find gold, mister. Me and Trench and Slagle, back there in the hills. A mountain stream so full of nuggets that it'd make your eyes bug out. Then uh, what's the trouble? A map. What? Yeah, a map of the location. Trench fixed it. I ain't no hand at that stuff. It's wild, mixed up country there. We needed the map to show location when they register with the government officer in Brazos. Besides, I don't know as we could find it again without a map. So that's it. The map is lost. The trench claims I had it. I never had it. He was carrying it, and Slagle took his side. When you wanted to see the map, the trouble started? And they're partners with me. But if those coyotes are planning to slick me out of my share, I'll not Easy, get... easy, Chandler. You sure it wasn't just a mistake? Mistake my foot. Trench has got that map. Well, in that case, suppose we search him. Now you're talking sense, mister. And search Slagle, too. We'll ride up ahead and face them now. One way or the other, we'll find who's telling a great story. Well, what in thunder? Shoot. That's not a fight, Chandler. Huh? Listen, a space to part. It's a signal. Follow me as fast as you can. I'm going on ahead. Wait, man. Gallop your horse, Chandler. I'll still there. Hoy! The masked man raced ahead on the giant stallion. Leaving Chandler far behind, he headed straight along the trail toward the hill behind which Tonto had disappeared with the other prospectors. As he rounded the base of the hill, he saw two horses standing by the bank of a rushing stream. Beside them lay two still figures. Let's count, Silver. Tonto is down. Mashman! Help, Mashman! <clears throat> Tonto. He's all right, mister. Just stunned by that wallop trench landed on him with the butt of his gun. Trench caught me, too. He had no gun. Well, that's what we figured. But he must have been carrying an extra one tucked into his boot top. You fired those shots? Yeah, I used the engine's guns. I'm still sort of dizzy. Oh, what happened? Tonto, are you all right? Uh, me. Me all right now, Kimosabe. Where, where Trench? He got away. Oh, Tonto, sorry. Never mind, Kimosabe. Where is Trench now, Slagle? Reckon he's hightailing it on the other side of the river, mister. And what's more, the ornery pool cat fixed it so as we can't follow him. Oh, me not savvy. Where boat to go across water? Look again, Tonto. Current is fast. There was a cable stretched across and a boat attached to it. Now the boat's gone and the cable's been cut. Yeah. Trench pulled him and his horse across, then cut the cable. The boat went downstream with the current. And now there's no way for us to follow after him. Yes, there is, Slagle. Huh? We can use a lariat. Throw a loop across the water to that tree stump over there. Sure, but you'll need a couple of throws to make it. And a couple of ropes for it to be strong enough. Before you get across, Trench will be clear into Brazos. Then try and find him. Hey, hey there. I followed as fast as I could. What's gone wrong? What? Hey, what happened to the flatboat? Who cut the cable? I'm afraid we're out of luck, Chandler. Trench is gone, and he's got your map. That night, a horseman rode into Brazos. As he dismounted in front of the Longhorn Cafe and went in, he kept his hat pulled low over his eyes. He took the stairs swiftly and quietly, then moved furtively along the darkened hall to one of the rooms. Come in. Who is it? Wait, I'll turn up the kerosene lamp. Your name's Trench? Yeah, I'm Trench. I just rode into town. I was told any time I got anything important to come to room six at the Longhorn Cafe. I got something important. All right, what is it? It's a map to the location of the sweetest place of mine you ever saw. Hmm. The reason I'm turning it over is because I can use a ready cash. Take a lot of work to wash out gold. Uh, I don't cotton to work. You got cash? You're right here. Mm, Kino. Who else knows about this trench? I had a couple of partners in with me. But you don't have to worry about them. They left on the far side of the Brazos River. <laughs> I set the flatboat adrift. There was also a mass man and engine. But what? What's the matter? You jumped. Never mind. You know him? I said never mind. Hand over that map, I'll give you cash. Sure, sure. First, I gotta be sure you're the right party. You want a sign? Uh-huh. I was told the gent waiting here would have a tattoo mark on his left wrist. Like this? 
Yeah, that's it. Black Arrow. Say, what's it mean? It means nothing to you, Trench. Forget you ever saw it. It's all right with me, mister. Here's the map. Where's that cash? Here you are. Yeah, Kino, silver dollars. That's what I like. <laughs> I figure I'll try my luck on the roulette wheel downstairs. Pleasure to have met you, mister. Trench. Yeah, mister. Watch out for the mask man. He's dangerous. <laughs> dangerous, huh? So am I dangerous, mister. Thanks for the advice. Maybe he better watch out, too. Adios. Now, John, there's no use fretting about it. For all you know, maybe that strike wouldn't have panned out anyway. Maybe you didn't find real gold. Didn't no. find real gold? I reckon I know real gold when I see it. Trouble with me was, I didn't know a thief when I seen him. If I ever lay my hands on that skunk trench, I'll... Oh, now, John... Masked man, the engine are off looking for trench, aren't they? If he's in Brazos, they'll find sure, him. Sure, they'll find him. But will they find the map? I've been thinking it over, Chandler. Mm. Maybe Trench doesn't have that map, just the way he said. You're a loco. He ran away, didn't he? Well, it looked that way. Looked that way. He knocked out the engine. Knocked you out, too, Slagel. That's true enough. But he only hit me when I tried to stop him. I don't understand what you mean. What I mean, ma'am, is the trench was talking all the way. He was positive that engine and the mask armory were outlaws. Didn't want any part of them. Well, I can't blame him for thinking that. Of course not. You thought so yourself. Well, I changed my mind. Yep, so did I. But you know Trench once he gets his mind set. Mm -hmm. He's a single-handed sort of cuss. All that's looking out for himself and not bothering with others. You mean he'd save himself and not his partners? That's him. All right. I can savvy why he hit the engines. But why should he hit you? Because I tried to stop him and argue with him. He was on his way, Chandler. And me nor anyone else wasn't stopping him. And on top of that, he cut the cable and set the flatboat adrift. To stop the mask man or the engine from taking after him. To tell the honest truth, Chandler, I still don't think he's got that map. Well, maybe. But I ain't convinced. And if the mask man hadn't made me promise, I'd be out there with him looking for trench myself. <laughs> Silver, it's Tonto. Kimo Sabi, me see Trench. Where is he, Tonto? You listen, you hear horse. Trench come along, trail behind me. Him not know me, see him. I hear him, Tonto. Get back, leave this to me. Oh, him got more guns now. Get back off the trail. I'll wait for him here. Ah, back, scout. Halt! I want that map, Trench. The mask, man. Hand it over. I ain't got it. And where is it? Yeah, don't shoot. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. The Longhorn Cafe, room six, second floor. We'll take care of you later, Trench. Come, Toto, the Longhorn Cafe. So you got the map, huh, Torlock? If it's as good as you think it is, that gold would have come in handy to the Black Arrow. It's a wonder that army sold it to you. Trench is a fool, Deadwood. All he sees is ready cash in his hand. Well, we've been standing on the balcony long enough. Shall we head back for your room? Yeah, the sooner we check up on that gold, the sooner we... Deadwood. Huh? Not a sound. Somebody's swinging up on the far end of the balcony. Well, I'll be hogtied. I see him, Torlock. Now, why should a gent want to clamber up that way when he can walk in the front entrance? He's wearing a mask, Deadwood. That's the Lone Ranger. He's heading for your room. Where's my gun? Oh, no, wait. Huh? Wait till he gets inside. Then we'll start shooting and yelling there's an outlaw up here. To bring every man up from downstairs. Now get ready. I'm ready. There he goes. He's inside now, Deadwood. Help! Hold up! Mask man, come running! Here he is! This way! Up law! Up law! Don't let him get away! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. continue our story. When the Lone Ranger climbed the balcony of the Longhorn Cafe to find the man to whom Trench gave the map of the location of the gold strike, 
he was seen by Torlock. No sooner was the masked man in the empty room than Torlock raised the cry of outlaw and every man below rushed up the stairs, guns drawn and ready. They're coming after me. It's a trap. Harry, here's This way, on the balcony. That's Toto down below in the street. There he is, get him! There's Silver! It's my only chance. I've got to jump for Silver's saddle. Look out! He's coming this way! Stop him! That's his horse down below! Oh! One side shoot, there! Shoot him! He's jumping off the balcony! Here's Silver, give us a beat! Ready, Silver! Here I come! Hip. Good! you land right on the saddle. Right, poor Toto. Out of town. Get him off the scout! Bullet not hit you? I'm not scratched, Toto. Me hear them call. Come fast with Silver and Scout. I ran into trouble I didn't expect. You're not fine map, huh? No, Kimosabi. The room was empty. There were two men out on the balcony. I had to shove them out of the way to get out on the railing. They ones got map? They must be, Toto, because I grabbed one by the wrist as I shoved past. The left wrist. In the light from the hall, I saw he had the tattoo mark of the Black Arrow. Oh. And I recognized the voice of the other man. It was Torlock. Torlock? Black Arrow got map, huh? Yes, Chandler's map. Unless I'm mistaken, Torlock will head for the gold claim to look it over. And what we do? We'll get Chandler, Kimosabi. We're going to find that claim if we have to scour every hill between here and Frisco. And Chandler's going with us. I'll sell it! Hi! I'll have some grub and a skillet all packed into saddlebags for you, John. How about you, masked man? Toto and I have all we need, Mrs. Chandler. I knew Trench was crooked and knew it in my bones. Without that map, we don't stand a maverick's chance in a blizzard, mister. We'll find your gold claim, Chandler. How? You left a trail, didn't you? Well, a lot of what's over rock. Toto can find a trail anywhere. He's the best scout in the West. Well, I sure hope so. Here's your saddlebags, John. If anybody can get you back there, it's the masked man and the engine. I'm certain of it. I reckon it's the only way to do once I get that claim located again, I can come back to town and file on it. Make sure it's mine legal. With a map to prove the location, I can... Gee, horse of fat. What's wrong now? Shucks, I just recollected. I'm no hand at map making. Well, once we get there, I'll draw up a map for you. Don't worry about that. Well, Kino, then. We're all set. Once all ready, Chandler. Well, thanks, Injun. It's going to get light now. We go pronto, huh? sooner we leave, the better. No time to wait for Slagle. This is part his claim, too. He's not around. It's better not to wait. All right, then. I can always give him his share. <laughs> oh, Sid. Goodbye, Martha. Goodbye, John. When will you be back? As fast as we can. Depends on how quickly we find the trail. I'll be praying for you. Uh, we go back to Brazos River, huh? Yes, we can pick up the signs from there. Goodbye, ma'am. Adios. Adios, Indian. Get him up, scout. Up, Silver. Come along, Chandler. Be right with you. Marty. Bye, John. You think I'm a fool for trusting these gents? I trust them. Oh, that's enough for me. <laughs> when Slagle gets back, tell him not to worry. He'll get his share. I'll tell him. Goodbye. Get up. Get up there. Get up. Good luck. Please watch over my husband. <laughs> Slagle. Howdy, ma'am. Oh, you give me a fright. Why didn't you come outside, John? Just rode off. Couldn't wait for you. I heard him. But you could have gone with him. You can still go with him. I got other plans. Other plans? I don't understand. You're not... Oh. Yeah, Mrs. Chandler. You're beginning to savvy. I didn't go with Chandler because I ain't working with him and never have been. So the masked gen is taking Chandler back to find the gold claim, huh? I know somebody who'd be mighty interested in that. A certain gent over the Longhorn Cafe. So Chandler's on his way back, eh? And the Lone Ranger with him. The Lone Ranger? Is that masked gent the Lone Ranger? He is. What difference does that make? Oh, none of them. Just man. forget it. I'm paying you. You do what you're told, Sligo. Yeah, sure. I'll see that he does, Tora. Deadwood, you and Sligo round up Trench. I've decided to use him on this. He's around somewhere. They'll get him here. Kino. Then what? We take the trail ourselves. I'll be with you, but I'll keep in the background. We have the map. No matter how good Tano is at tracking down a cold trail, we'll get to the gold claim first. I don't see nothing, masked man. Hi. Tano does. Over this way. Let me find something here, Kimosabi. Chandler, you look. 
I agree with that. It's tobacco. Ah. My tobacco. I must have knocked out my pipe along about here. There's the mark of a horse's hoof, Chandler. From the cut in the heel, it looks like your horse did that. That's it. That's what it is. We're still on the trail. We'll find more signs further along. Keep your eyes open. Come on, Silver. Get him up Get out there. Fair enough. Oh, steady, Silver. Steady, boy. We've come to a brook, Chandler. Oh, we've passed a dozen of them since we crossed the Brazos River. Now look around you. Does this one look familiar? No, I can't say. Well, you talk about Big Rock. They're Big Rock upstream. Huh. Doggone engine, maybe you're right. That rock does look like I've seen it before. Yes, sir. Now it's getting familiar. Let's head upstream. I got a feeling we're right close. Yeah. Yes, sir. This is it. You can't mistake it now. We just go around this bend. Ah, uh, can't see him now. We'll have to go into the water here. And that's it. You found it. Rain up. This is it. I'm positive. Positive. Steady, Silver. Steady. Uh, now, uh, wait till I get my pan loose. I'll, I'll show you the dust. Now, uh, now watch. Watch. Uh, uh, let me stir the silt out. Now, yeah. uh, just a minute now. Uh, look. Look at here. Plenty of gold dust. Yes, I see. Her right in the bottom of the pan. The bed of the stream is covered with it. Yes, sir, eh, mass man, you found it. You and the engine located my claim. It uh, wasn't thunder. Attack. We're shooting down on us from the top of the bank. Quick, into those cottonwoods. It's our only chance. Made the cottonwoods, mass man, but they're still shooting. How's your arm, Chandler? Yeah, just a scratch. Uh, what we do, Kimasabi? We stay in cottonwood, we safe. We not dare go out now. Mm, they got the advantage of us, Injun. They're up on the bluffs and we're down below. Even if we went to the creek for water, it'd be mighty dangerous. Trenches up there? Yeah, trench and slagle. I heard them yelling while we was getting here. They sure hoodwinked me proper. It's dark now. Maybe we take chance, huh? No, we'll need a plan. Wait. Listen. Huh? Shooting doesn't sound as steady as it did before. Sure. They're easing up, waiting for dawn. Either the others are sleeping or there aren't as many as there were before. You think some of them go? Mm, perhaps. We counted four of them earlier. But either way, we'll have to take a chance. We'll have to close in when they're looking the other way. Well, how are you going to get them to look the other way? Chandler, do you have gunpowder in your saddlebags? Why, oh, some, mister. I'm a prospector. I always carry some. What for? And fuses? Yeah, got fruit. Good, good. I'm going to load a saddlebag with some loose gunpowder and put a fuse in it. Also, a handful of these. Bullets? Yes. What will happen when that fuse is lighted, Chandler? Mm, yeah. Let me see now. The powder wouldn't explode because it has to be packed down tight to explode. It'd just burn, but it'd burn mighty fast and mighty hot. Yes. What would happen to the bullets? The bullets? Oh, well, they'd go off. The heat would explode them. Exactly. Load up one of those saddlebags, Tonto. Cut it loose and fasten a length of rope to it. Ah. Uh. Hunter, do it. And then what? Don and I'll circle around behind them, Chandler. You'll have the saddlebag ready. When you hear a signal from us, light the fuse and throw it as far downstream as you can. The rope will help you to throw it farther. Make sure you keep it out of the water. And I'll throw it so as it'll miss the water. When the bullets start going off, they'll turn in that direction. Tonto and I can close in. Aquino, and there's just one more thing. What's going to be your signal, mass man? Tonto will signal you. Give him the signal, Kimosabe. All right, Savvy, a bird call. When I hear it, I'll do just like you say. short time later, the masked man and Tonto crept carefully through the darkness until they were behind the bad men. And then... Far enough, Tonto. Ah. Uh, me make bird call, huh? Yes, Kimosabe. Then we'll wait for Chandler to light the fuse and throw it. It'll take a few seconds. Right, Slagle, keep him busy. Why didn't we shoot to kill in the first place, Deadwood? Torlock gave orders to capture him alive. We'll first him out. All right, don't... What, what in thunder? Shots coming from downstream. They must be sneaking away from the cottonwood. Grab your gun. Come on down this way. Don't let them get past. We got it. What in blazes, Deadwood? Them shots stopped almost as soon as they started. There ain't a sound down there. There is behind you. Don't move. The mask man. That suit. Oh. Drop that rifle or I pull trigger. Oh, that's it. You fooled us. While we turn toward them shots, you come up behind us. Put a rope on them, Toto. Oh, me time plenty tight. Last man, Agent, did you get him? Are you all right? I threw the gunpowder in the bullet as soon as I heard your signal. We got them, Chandler, but only two of them. Slagle, where's Torlock? 
Him and Trench pulled out hours ago. They're heading for the Brazos River. Oh, that bad. We not got Torlock yet, Kimosabi. We can still go after them. In the saddle tunnel. Uh-huh. Chandler, these two men are tied up. You think you can take them to Brazos and hand them over to the law? Mister, sure can. And you give me a new map so as I can find them a rightful claim. But you're leaving right now. Right now. Follow me, Tato. We're heading for the river. Get him up, scout. I'll sell the hoy! They ain't got a chance of catching Torlock and Trench. Not a chance! Yeah, that's what you think, Slagle. I'm betting the masked man and Tonto catch up with those hombres before you know it. Hours later, just before dawn lightened up the trail, the masked men and Tonto reached the river and thundered along the steep bank. Below them roared the angry river, but they could not see it. Neither could they see the rope that was stretched tightly right across their path. Before they knew it, the galloping horses tripped on the rope. He must have the river! <laughs> it's a good thing we heard them behind us, Trench. We had time to stretch a rope across the trail. Yeah, Torlock, to see the way it tripped him up, sent him flying right over the spot where the bank curves, straight into the river. <laughs> They're done for, Torlock. Nothing could live in those rapids. Nothing. just heard as a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.